Jack and I were together for 40 years. We began working in the studio together probably about 25 or 30 years ago. When I began to just softly tread in the studio doing paperwork and then making very small pieces and then gradually, gradually over all those years becoming a full partner with Jack, for which I'm very grateful. He was everything to me in the studio. He was my teacher and he was my prodder and he was my nemesis <laughs> and we worked very differently. I tended to be methodical and organized and he was an intuitive guy. <laughs> what I'm after is uh, things that look both primitive and authentic and I don't mean primitive in any way in a derogatory sense. I mean it as, as though I'm saying the opposite of over-engineered. And when, thing is, when something is primitive and authentic, I think people respond to it uh, because they recognize something like that in themselves, hopefully. He is the designer. He is the artist. Um, he, without Jack, none of, none of this, and certainly what I continue to do, would not exist. Welding is a skill that, um, especially with bronze and copper, can be pretty tricky. And I learned to watch him more than I learned from him speaking to me. And the same thing happened with the patinas that we do. A patina is the changing of metal, um, bronze and copper in particular, because copper changes. If you think of a statue in a park, it eventually turns brown and then begins to turn green. And what Jack and I are doing when we do a hot process patina is we are using different chemicals like ferric acids and cupric acids. And we're heating the metal and brushing these acids on so that the process happens relatively quickly, much more quickly than it would be if it were outside, but it can still take several days. Jack began experimenting with patinas almost 40 years ago, and he is truly a master at it. He, he has found formulas and techniques that I don't think anybody else uses, and it's just been through experimentation, through allowing the medium to speak to him, which is something he said over and over again. The collaborative work would go back and forth and back and forth between our two studios all the time, but he was better at some things than I was. So when he passed away, there were all these hot process patina formulas that I didn't know. I, I didn't do them because he was better at it. And I found when I got in the studio and began experimenting that I must have absorbed from him more than I had thought because it was, it was there. I think it was just working side by side for so many years. You, do, you don't even need words. I think one thing I've learned in 35 years of doing this is to listen to the medium. When something suggests itself that would bring the piece to an interesting other level, you know, whether it's shark fins or a base the color of water, uh, one of the skills you pick up after a, a lot of years is when to latch on to one of those ideas and go with it. It's funny, there are boats everywhere. That was a shape that inspired him that beautiful pod shape. And he, he used it over 30 years in lots of different ways. These very literal expressions of a boat are, are new for us. But he didn't like the water, never liked the water. Uh, he ended up spending a lot of time in the water because he married a woman and had children who loved the water. The pieces that Jack and I collaborated on extensively were these nine-inch wall tiles and the small boats with the anchors. And that is work that I will continue, though I will miss his presence, his presence with that work. The large pieces, the major pieces, the buildings, the big boats, the huge panels, those pieces will end with Jack. 
I don't have the skill to do those pieces by myself or the strength. And I also don't have the heart. They, they, it is his work, it is his legacy. I'm finding, as I'm working by myself, that the material speaks to me just as it spoke to Jack. Bronze is a beautiful metal. I find the chemical change that happens so fascinating and frustrating, but always inspiring. I didn't know I'd love it. <laughs> I didn't know that I would love it working by myself as much as I do. That may mean that I go much further than I think that I will at this point. And every time that I get the perfect patina that I was going for, I, uh, I feel like I am honoring him and that feels good.